Number one, go to Italy. If I had a choice to go anywhere in the world, I would choose to go to Italy. From the pictures I've seen, the place is gorgeous. The luscious green meadows and the beautiful water that runs throughout the country has always intrigued me. The large buildings and the ancient ruins are also a site I would love to visit. Other than the country's scenery and architecture, I've always wanted to go to Italy because it plays a big part in my heritage. My grandparents moved from Italy when they were kids. I was raised to appreciate my Italian heritage and I've learned a lot from where I came from. I would love to meet my cousins that live there and see how differently my Italian family lives. Italy will always be a country I want to visit and hopefully I can visit it more than once. Number two, go to the Winter Olympics. Being both a skier and a snowboarder, the Winter Olympics have always been a sporting event I've wanted to attend. I have been to smaller events like the Dew Tour and the X Games, and those were both amazing. However, the Winter Olympics are incredible because it is the best of everyone in the world competing, not just people in America. I would love to see the most talented people in the sport I love competing on the biggest stage in the world. Hopefully, I could attend the events such as Slopestyle and Halfpipe and watch my favorite snowboarders win gold. Even without those events, the Olympics are amazing because of the opening and closing ceremonies. Every two years, I watch the Olympic ceremonies because of how astonishing they are year after year. I'm always impressed with the technology the country provides and the stories each country tells. The Winter Olympics will always be special to me, and I would love to visit them someday. Number three, climb Pikes Peak. Living in Colorado Springs, I'm spoiled with the beauty of the mountains. I sometimes forget other states don't have the mountains like we do. I am reminded of how majestic one of the peaks, Pikes Peak, is every day. It is on a very elite list of mountains that is above 14,000 feet. One day, I hope to hike the trail all the way up to the top of Pikes Peak. It is a physical test unlike many others I hope to complete. Throughout my life, I have hiked several places such as the Manitou Incline. Successfully completing the incline was such a great feeling but it would be nothing in comparison. Hopefully I can soon say that I look down on Colorado Springs after an unforgettable hike up to Pikes Peak. Number four, go skydiving. Skydiving has always been something that I've wanted to do. Being someone that loves the adrenaline rush of extreme sports, I cannot wait to go skydiving. I can already cross off cliff diving, whitewater rafting, and even rock climbing, but not yet skydiving. From the stories I have heard, it is unlike anything else. My brother went skydiving about a year ago, and he told me he wanted to do it again right after he landed. The rest of my family might not be as willing as my brother, but I cannot be swayed on this one. The fact that there are risks are half the reason skydiving is as intense as it is. I will be nervous on the flight up, but after the jump out, I will probably have the time of my life. Life would not be worth living if I did not take risks, and skydiving is a risk I cannot wait to take. Number five, go scuba diving. Scuba diving is on my bucket list because the ocean has always interested me. I have always wanted to explore the ocean and its different types of creatures. Some of the fish you see in the ocean are astonishing. Also, the size of some of the creatures in the ocean, like whales, are amazing. Being able to swim with these remarkable creatures would be something to remember. My dream trip would be to go somewhere like the Bahamas or Costa Rica because of how clear the water is there. I could watch as schools of fish swam by, and I could look at all the types of reefs. Water takes up over 70% of the earth, and I want to see and swim with what inhabits it. Number six, go to a Packers Super Bowl. There are two reasons that I would really want to go to the Packers and the Super Bowl. The first reason is that it is the Super Bowl, the biggest football game every year. Second reason is that I've always been a huge Packers fan. I have been to one Packers game and I will never forget it. Even a small game like the one I went to was amazing, so I cannot even imagine going to the Super Bowl. Every year, I watch the Packers games with my dad and sadly, they usually fall short. However, they have their years and they make it to the Super Bowl. Hopefully, if they do this again in my lifetime, I will be able to get tickets and enjoy the game. Number seven, go heli snowboarding. I want to go heli snowboarding because snowboarding has always been one of my passions. I learned how to ski when I was 7 and then I switched to snowboarding when I was 13. 
push myself to be better and to try new tricks every year I go up. I have been able to snowboard across most of the mountain and I want to push myself past just the regular skiing mountains. I'm pretty sure that I have also watched every snowboarding movie there is. One of my favorite parts of these movies is when the boarders go to an uncharted mountain and snowboard down it. I want to be able to get dropped out of a helicopter on the top of a mountain and snowboard just like them. The best part of heli snowboarding would be making my own path in the snow because it is untouched. Like a lot of things I love doing, there are risks involved, but that just adds some spice Suspense. to life. Number 8. See a volcano erupt. Watching a volcano erupt is the only part of my bucket list that not even I am sure about. I've done a lot of dangerous things in my life, but staying around an erupting volcano would be a whole new level of dangerous. There are so many things that could go wrong in this scenario. However, if I did make it out alive, it would be hands down the most memorable part of my life. Honestly, half the reason I would do it is so that I could tell people the story. There are very few people that can say that they have watched a volcano erupt. It is a rare occurrence, and I would be able to describe it in detail. Also, like a lot of things I do, it would be such an adrenaline rush. There is nothing in this world like an erupting volcano, so why would I not want to see it for myself? Number 9. Be an extra in a movie. Being an extra in a movie might seem really random to most people, and it probably is. I actually got the idea of being an extra in a movie from my brother. He always talked about how funny it would be to randomly show up in a popular movie. I immediately agreed with him, and it's been on my list ever since. If you can become an extra, you will show up on the big screen, even if it is for just a few seconds. I would want to be on a zombie show, like The Walking Dead. I could be made up like a zombie and I could walk past the main characters of the show trying to bite them. I may not become a movie star, but showing on television has always been something I can hopefully cross off my bucket list. Number 10. Save someone's life. The final and most serious part of my bucket list is to save a person's life. Life is so precious, and to save someone's would be the ultimate experience. That is the person's entire future in your hands, and you keep them alive for it. After college, I hope to go to medical school and become a surgeon. During my career, I would love to save a person's life. However, this does not need to be a life-saving surgery. It could be a surprise moment where I am thrown into a life-saving situation. I do not know when the situation would arrive, but I hope I am ready for it. It could be anything from CPR to saving someone from drowning. Whether it is a surgery or a spur of the moment, I hope to save a life before mine ends.